In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, manipulate the electricity question on NECO Physics Practical 2024. So here you can see uh, I have a wire, a constant wire with standard wire gauge of 26 and 0 0.46 millimeter in diameter. So what we just need is just the uh, resistance per unit length. Okay, so what I need is just this here, the resistance per unit length of this wire, constant wire. So what uh, NECO uh, uh, asks you to provide, schools to provide, uh, is a constant wire of 26 SWG. So that is standard wire gauge. So I now decide to look for the resistance per unit length. You can look for the diameter and also find out the resistivity. You can use that to determine the resistance per unit length. But anyway, you can just go online and search for the resistance per unit length. So after that, uh, after this, we know the resistance per unit length. Then I'm going to perform a very short and simple experiment to determine the approximate internal resistance of the battery that I'm going to be using. So let's uh, get that experiment. Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to determine the approximate internal resistance of this battery. So first of all, I'm going to determine the EMF of the battery. And when I close this, so you can see I'm using the 5 volt parameter. So that's recorded to 2.95 volts. Okay, here I have an ammeter and the one ohm resistor connected in series with this. So what I'm going to do is to close the battery and see what the current we're going to get from this. So the current I'm getting is 1.1. .1. So with this, we are going to get the approximate internal resistance of the battery. Okay, now we are going to use this formula to obtain the internal resistance from the data that we just gathered from that short experiment. So here, by rearranging, we get R plus small r is going to E divided by I. Then we can make R the subject from R is going to E over I minus R. Then we'll just plug in the values, the values that we obtained for E, I, and R in the experiment. So we plug this in. So R will be equal to 1.68 ohms. So that's the value we obtained for the internal what rate. And so we're going to be using this value in the uh, video to obtain our current and our voltage as respectively. This is uh, all what we have to do. We have uh, the length of the the length of the wire, the length of the wire here, and I'm going to determine the resistance of the wire using the resistance per unit length that we determined from the beginning of this uh, video. So the resistance per unit length, like we said earlier, is 3.014 ohm per meter. So that's the resistance per unit length. So I can write this as R over L equals 3.014. So I'm going to make R the subject of formula. So that becomes R equals 3.014L. Now, since the length are in centimeter, and this unit here is in ohm per meter, I have to convert all the lengths to what meter. So I have to divide this by 100. So when I divide that, I'm going to end up with 0.03014L. Next, I just plug the values of L into this equation here. Then we'll obtain the resistance of the wire when giving the giving each of this length remember that this is just for this purpose of this video and also the length may be changed but even though if the length is changed you can just use the same formula to obtain the length of the uh the resistance of the wire at any given what length so i want to substitute this i'm going to have 2.56 for the resistance here and i'll do it for all others then we'll obtain these values for the each of the 
resistance for each of the given word lengths. So these are the resistance. Now we're going to use this resistance to determine other values before we can fully manipulate the result. So here, I have three possible case, uh, case scenario for this practical. So this is the first part, and I'm going to tell you what to do with this. So these are the resistance we obtained earlier on for each of the given lengths. So we're going to be using this resistance alongside the given resistance here to obtain the total resistance of this uh, of the circuit because you can see that the constant wire is connected in parallel with the two ohm resistor. So we're going to determine the total resistance in parallel. So we're going to use the formula since there are just two resistance in parallel. The total resistance will be the uh, we multiply the resistance and then divide them by the sum of the resistances. Okay. So from here we can just obtain the resistance as this. So we just plug in the value. So remember that the resistance of the standard resistor is 2 ohm. So that's constant. Then we have the value for the rest and here 2.5. So we're going to plug all these values for R2 in this equation. All of these values, we we'll plug them here. So we we'll have this. On plugging this, we're going to have all these values here. So these are the uh, combined resistance that we obtain for these two resistors in parallel. Next, we are going to determine the current I equals E over R plus R. So to obtain the current, this is what we are going to get. This and this. How do we obtain the current? I is equal to E over R plus R. And this R is obtained the internal resistance is obtained from the formula we used when I can uh, determine the EMF, the internal uh, the current flowing through the circuit using the two ohm resistor. So these are the values. When we plug all these values in, we will we, we obtain the value of the current flowing through the circuit. So here, arrow is the total resistance here for this, and a small arrow is the internal resistance that we calculated earlier on. So we obtain all of these for the current. So by plugging all these values into this, we obtain all of this for the current. Next, we can then determine the voltage by using the formula V is equal to what? I R. Remember, the voltmeter reading will be the total resistance across the 2 ohm resistor and the constantine wire. So these are the resistance that we are going to use for each of the current flowing here. So when we do that, we have 1.05 times 1.12. So the current flow here is 1.05 and the resistance is 1.1. So we repeat all of this for this and the corresponding current flow, the total resistance and the corresponding flow just like that. Then we obtain the values for V. So from here we have V. So we repeat the procedure for all others. Then we have all of this. and all of this for the voltmeter reading. Next, we can then find for the other circuit. Now you see for the other circuit, circuit two, the, the constant time wire is now connected in series with the two ohm resistor. So we find a different approach to look for the total resistance, but we are still going to use the resistance of the wire obtained using the given, uh, with the given word length. So yeah, the total resistance is going to be R1 plus R2. Then we add the two ohm resistor plus the resistance of the wire at the given length. So these are the resistance. So we'll just add them together to obtain the total resistance. So this we are going to have these values for the total resistance. Next, we are going to obtain the current flow through the circuit by using the, the same formula again. I is going to E over R plus small r. So here we're going to use this arrow. It's going to be values for this arrow. And the internal resistance, small, uh, the small arrow, will be the internal resistance we calculated earlier on. So we'll plug on these values, then we'll get the current flowing just like this. Next, we are going to obtain the voltmeter reading here. Because the voltmeter is connected across the two ohm resistor only, then we're going to be multiplying the current by 
the two ohm resistor. So the voltage is V equals to IRO again. Then she would multiply that by two, then obtain the values for the uh, voltmeter reading. So we're going to do the same for the corresponding current and the two ohm resistor. So we have this. So we have all of these for our voltmeter reading. So that concludes part two. Now let's go to part three of this. In part three, the part three is similar to the part two. The only difference is that in this case, instead of the voltmeter connected, connected across the two ohm resistor, it's then connected across the standard, uh, the constant time wire. So this time around, we are going to use the same resistance again, but instead of getting the values for the two ohm rate, instead of using the two ohm rate to calculate the vote, the voltage, we are going to use the value of the resistance here. Now the same procedure to up, uh, we used to obtain the resistance in the previous part is the same procedure because they are in series. So add the resistances in series, and the current will be the same again. So we'll obtain the current using the same procedure, but different method for the voltmeter. The same method, but different approach. So this time around, we use the current and the corresponding internal resistor at the total uh, the resistance of the wire for each given watt length. So we're going to have this. Then we'll do the same procedure for all of these. And then obtain all the voltages. So it's basically the same thing that we're doing, but this time we're just multiplying by this current instead of at this resistance, instead of this resistance here.